All right, May 1st, 52 degrees outside. Our uh, snap peas are growing, coming up real good all the way down through. Every one of them has popped up and they're about an inch or two tall. Onions, these, this front bed is transplanted onions. And the back bed over there is onions and carrots. And they're coming in pretty well. Looks like uh, we had a good amount of, of seed, uh, seeds germinating. These are all just seeded a couple of weeks ago. Um, but the snap peas are coming in real nice. They made it through the frost last night. We had another frost. Uh, we recently planted our salads over here. And over here we did some radish, some turnips, and another thing of salad. So those should start coming up soon. Um, I think I did a video where I covered that bed and not this bed. And you can see how green that is. So I'm going to do the same thing to this bed. I'm going to rake it, uproot all those, those weeds, and cover it with about three inches of wood chips. Um, we got a lot of rain coming, so it'll help suppress that. And then we will, we'll just be planting right uh, into the wood chips. Um, our greenhouse is working wonderfully. It was a little cool last night. Um, and I just got home, so I had to just kind of open the door here because it was 95 in here. Uh, so it's down to 90. And we've got, there's a tomato right up front that I must have been dying. I transplanted it into an empty uh, jiffy pot to see if it would stay and live and it seems to have but those are eggplants uh yep may 1st got eggplants going um cucumbers radishes another set of cucumbers in the back there um beets i believe and melons hale's best mel melons we have some kale started that i gotta it's been struggling i think i'd rather just start kale in the garden as well some more snap peas back there that are just they're probably ready to go out They've been hardened off in here. Some more kale, Siberian kale. We got Chinese cabbage that's kind of picking up. All of our cabbage died in the first frost after I planted them. Down here, uh, these guys need a little water, but um, you got some Brussels sprouts and some broccoli coming up really nice. So two more weeks and we'll transplant these out after the last frost date. Although they're gonna be nice and hardened off because the temperature is only about 20 degrees warmer at night. 10, 20 degrees warmer at night than is in here than is outside. Um, blueberries are good. We bought two of these blueberries that had leaves coming, and that's good and healthy. And then I bought this one. All it had was little buds. So these little buds like this guy there. But now they're starting to open. Oops. And uh, you can see on this one, they're starting to open too. So I don't know. Again, we got these down the road. And just here in Palmyra, we'll see how they go. These are giant sunflowers, so they're pretty tall. Um, they're supposed to get up to 12 feet tall, and uh, um, we'll have like a, a foot wide, you know, sunflower. So I got three of them pre-started. I'm going to plant seeds here in the next week, about a week before the last frost date, in uh, our flower garden and try to get these popping up and looking good. So uh, that's about it. That's our update. Oh, we got our seeds, um, sorry, soil block kit. So I can start to mix that up. And uh, other than that, open the door real quick, down to 77, just a little bit more reasonable. 95 is a bit warm. I got a huge pile of wood chips the other day. Thanks to the local tree trimmers. Hoping I get a bunch more. They said they're gonna be working in the area. So I'm hoping we get a ton of trucks, but that's going to start with, I'm going to go expand the garden here all the way around a little bit. And then we're going to wood chip our apple trees that we have now, about 10 inches deep and about 10 feet wide or under the whole canopy there. Uh, these three, and then that's how we're going to start our orchard. So then when we get some more trees this year and we plant them, We'll uh, wood chip about 10 feet around them as well. And then we'll just start to connect it over the years. But beautiful day out here on May 1st. It's like 55 degrees. Uh, for my own reference here, let's see. On this, in this bed, I had planted that Chinese kale, I mean Chinese uh, cabbage. The frost hit and they all died. Um, I covered
covered them one night and then it snowed, of course, three inches and killed them all. Uh, the things that have lived or trying to live are up here. Uh, I don't know that they'll make it either. We had a really strong wind last night, but things are doing good of our celery. Celery's looking really good. So coming on nice and strong. This one's actually really starting to shoot up. Um, so we're gonna have some good celery at least. And we'll see, we'll go from there. I've got some extra celeriac uh, root to plant and some more garlic to plant, but we'll see. Alrighty, that's about it for today.